Good morning, everyone. Today we are doing close-ups with Fergus. Fergus, you're filthy. He keeps rolling in the grass and getting grass all over himself, and he just can't do anything with his hair. Welcome to Friends of the Feather. It's another beautiful morning. Birds are tweeting. I so appreciate you tuning in. If you're wondering what this is all about, it's in the description box. Take a look. Have a read. <clears throat> Thank you to our 117 subscribers. I so greatly appreciate it. Please, if you would, leave a little comment on who you are and what you're doing. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to hear from everyone that subscribes to see what they're doing. Good morning, Pecan Cheekons! It is something, something, something Sunday. Something, something. I thought maybe my today something could be music. Music. I love music. I've got, I've got something about music. It's really strange because um, I didn't really grow up in a musically inclined family. Like, we listened to music. Mostly uh, country music, like... The Statler Brothers, Barbara Mandrell, um, the Mandrell Sisters, Dolly Parton, yeah, the country music. <clears throat> That's what I grew up on. And uh, for some reason, I, I just was absolutely fascinated with music. I, I loved music. I... I grew up in the 70s and 80s, so I was 8-tracks, uh, albums, and cassettes. 8-tracks um, and albums were, were the big thing for a while there, and then we got into cassettes. I would listen to the Rick D's Weekly Top 40 every single week, and uh, I, would, <laughs> I would listen to it, and I would, I would keep, I would like write down the songs. Like, I would keep a, a list of all the songs that won and, like, just keep track of all the different music that was coming out. Um, that's why you don't want to play Name That Tune with me. It's just not, it's not pretty. But, uh, I loved albums. I, I inherited all of my sister's eight tracks, some Uriah Heep. Um, the Flash Gordon soundtrack was a big one. That was a big one for me. Lots of Foreigner, uh, Fog Hat, uh, so many. Um, Journey, BTO, Kiss, um, had Kiss Double Platinum. And it, and now, like as an adult, I, I can't stand Kiss. <laughs> I really don't like Kiss. I don't like Kiss. I don't like ACDC. I mean, I'll listen to them. I can sing every song fr from from them, most of them. I, I know every word. I know every guitar solo. I know, <laughs> I know, uh, I, I know a lot, but I just, I don't prefer to listen to that, so. But as I got older, like, uh, after I, I stopped listening to pop, after my, uh, I had some things happen, and, uh, some trauma, and I, uh, started listening to, we'll say, darker music, um, I really, really enjoyed, uh, Nine Inch Nails' Pretty Hate Machine when it came out, that was a, a big one, um, I got big into, like, uh, Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax, um, <clears throat> Iron Maiden, I really liked Iron Maiden a lot, um, I still do, I still listen to them. Um, and then I was, uh, I was into eighties hair metal, um, first before I, and then I was obsessed with Ozzy Osbourne and Randy Rhodes for a long time. Tribute that album. I listened to that probably a thousand times, maybe more. Peter Frampton, Frampton Comes Alive. I had that on pink vinyl inherited from my sister. Uh, loved that album. Um, Boston loved that album. Um, I can't remember which one it was. It may have just been Boston, Boston, and then Third Stage was another one that I remember that was really good. 
um, Neil Diamond. I used to listen to a lot of Neil Diamond. But uh, I, then I got into the 80s hair metal and uh, Poison and Motley Crue and Aerosmith and uh, just all of them. Just the, the whole 80s, 80s metal scene. Uh, Rat. I'll still sing like a songbird to some rat. Um, yeah, so then I then I got into the the harder Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax, Pantera. Um, I got into all that, and then I discovered Tool. Tool Tool is uh, Tool is a, is a is a life changing band for me. It it is my my uh, holy grail, if you will, of of musical influence. It's there. It's actually there's actually a trifecta of musical influence that I've I've kind of developed over time, and it's uh, it centers around drummers. I'm I'm obsessed with drums. I actually have a drum pad and some sticks, and I've been watching drum videos. So I think I'm going to learn how to play the drums. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for seriously like 20 years. And because I'm not crazy and insane anymore, because I started eating properly and you know, I'm, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to learn how to play the drums. I've had this drum pad literally for, let me think, 17 years. It's a pra like a little Remo practice drum pad. I've got a couple of Zild Zildjian drumsticks. Oh uh, yeah, I'm down there pounding around. Right now I'm having a lot of trouble figuring out how to um, hold the sticks. This is how novice I am. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to properly hold the sticks, the different hand techniques, um, the hand movements, the hand wrist, arm, the, the whole thing. I'm trying to figure it out. I will figure it out, though, because I really want to be a drummer. I don't know why. Little drummer girl. That's who I want to be. But um, the trifecta of bands would be Tool, Rush, and Dave Matthews Band. I know, eclectic mix. I can see the Tool and Rush. Tool and Rush, I think, kind of go hand in hand for anyone who listens to them. You can kind of see the similarities. Um, I really like intricate rhythms. I like, um, I re oh, Danny Carey, man, come on. My gracious, you guys. The guy just blows me away. Like, listening to Danny Carey on songs like Lateralis and Parabola and just any of them, any of them are it, it's like going on a journey it's 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 a, like following a guitar line I mean it's not just a 4-4 you know snare bass hi-hat couple toms thrown in it's not like that it's so complicated and just so well thought out and every everything just fits so perfectly like it's it's something, guys. It's something. And I know it's not for everyone, and that's fine. That's fine. That's more tool for me. That's, you know, fewer concert, fewer people I have to compete with to go to concerts. Love live concerts. I love live music. I've got to get to some live music. If I don't get to live music this summer, I just might wither up and die. But I do enjoy a good concert. The last concert I went to was Tool, as a, as a fatter of Mac. I, uh... Uh, this is the last concert I went to. But um, once I discovered Tool, I think that's where I found, I discovered that I, wanted, I, I really, really had a thing for drums. Because I always thought my thing was guitar. I had a guitar. I took lessons. I can plunk around on it. I know C, D, and G. I can play probably three or 4,000 songs just knowing those three chords. <laughs> but it just never really clicked with me for some reason. I don't know what it was. I think it was probably a lack of tenacity and laziness and no practice. I think that's probably what it is. Because if you got C, D, and G down, I mean, come on. You, you've, you've almost got the thing whipped. But um, it was just, I, I just didn't sit down and practice. I still have a guitar. I still have a nice little six-string acoustic. Um, the strings are probably rusting off of it. Um, you'd probably get tetanus if you tried to play it, but it's there. But um, music has definitely shaped my life. I love music. There is something about it. It will it, it will shift your moods. It will change. It, it will it will do great things for you. Now, not everyone, not everyone has this this uh, this 
love, this rabid love for music. Not everybody has that. And I get that, you know, but I do. I love it. So drop in the comments, what's your favorite band? Who do you guys listen to? What, what, uh, what gets your motor running when you head out on the highway? Oh, that's right. That's right. I said it. Um, so that's why if you watch these, you'll, you'll notice that I throw in, I mean, my head is like a jukebox. I, I, I tell, I tell upper management all the time about my, my virtual jukebox that's in my head that it's just constantly, it never runs out of quarters. I'll tell you that. Whoever's playing the, the virtual jukebox, they never run out of quarters. It's like I'll walk through the room and just hear something on the TV and it'll make me think of a song and then that song is stuck in my head. It, it, and, then, and then I'll walk through, I'll, like if I'm working on a project, I do a lot of projects for like um, that have quotes in them. And if it's a quote for a song, God help me. I, it, every time I look at it, that song will be in my head. I will hear it and it will start playing on the jukebox. And, you know, sometimes we have random jukebox. Sometimes we ha we're stuck on one song jukebox. It's, um, you know, it, it just, it goes on forever. So, um, that's a little bit of a, of, of a, uh, <laughs> insight into my head. Um, I've always got some background music playing somewhere. So, tell me what you guys think about music on our something 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 Sunday and maybe we'll get into a little bit uh, a little bit deeper discussions about uh, about some music stuff later on today in our evening edition which you should all definitely tune into I might do a buttons episode today you never know depends on how frisky I'm feeling Ooh, I smell something dead over here hmm hmm no oh. Mm, not good. There's rabbits living under my shed. No, nah, that's not good. All right. Well, everybody have a wonderful Sunday. I hope everybody's having a great Memorial Day. Once again, do not drink and drive. Please be careful. Take care of others around you. Monitor everyone's intake. Make sure everyone's staying cool. Don't let anyone get hurt, okay? All right, everyone. Thank you again, 117 subscribers. Please subscribe if you have not do done so. Give me a comment. Tell me what you're all about. And uh, I think we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.